Hey guys, this is Berserk Edge 111 and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black. Today I'm going to take on the Narcene Gem and get my second badge. So um, first I'm going to show you guys my new Pokemon team. Um, with my Herdier, Origanrola, Temple, Smugleaf, and Heatup, and my Blitzel, which I named Dennis after GCMP's Dennis. He named his horse Dennis. That was a really, really funny video. You should go check his out. I'll probably post a link to his channel in the description. It's something he fought a Genesect, and it killed his thing, which he, he said it really killed it, but, you know, Pokemon can't die in the game, so, you know, so. And plus I got, um, the TM for Rock Smash, which, um, if you go to the west of the town and, uh, and this guy will give it to you for uh, you to use. So it's really good against this gem that's fixing to come up. So without further ado, let's start. And really, there's not really much interesting in this town. So don't worry about that too much. You can go explore and stuff, but ain't nothing too useful. And look who's here. It's in. He must have just challenged the gem. And he says, I want to see things that no one can see. The ideals of Pokemon side Pokeballs. Uh, the bonds of how trainers, the truths of how trainers should be. And it's a feature where Pokemon people become perfect. Yes, that's so. I think, my friends, I should test you so you can see the feature too. It doesn't matter really what you say, yes or no. Any battle leaves you anyway. Uh, I'm just going to my DS a little bit. So you're challenged by N. He'll send out a P Dove as his purse Pokemon, and I'm gonna send out my Herdier. Well, probably second thought, I'm gonna switch out to my uh, uh, let's switch out to Dennis real quick because he has such a type advantage over P Dove here. I caught my own because I kind of need a flying type. I was having so many you know trouble with Bug Pokemon, not having a good type advantage, so it's work okay. So, we're going to use Shockwave. We'll have to finish this quick attack, yeah. And that should one hit KO him. Yeah. So, we're in good shape with that so far. And next he's going to send in Temple Welch. I'll keep it, keep Dennis in. This Temple is just your standard water type. He's got pretty good special attack. And some pretty good moves for the state of the game, like Bubble Beam and... Move called Round, which is kind of like Uproar, I guess, but not really. But shouldn't be too much trouble. And um, next, he'll sit in his try to sit in his Timber, which is a pure fighting type. So we're gonna go want to go with P Dove here. He has the advantage with uh, flying attacks. So now, so I found out earlier that I can upload videos as long as I want so that's gonna be really cool so I'm gonna probably keep them around 15 to 20 minutes it depends I don't know but uh... should be alright we got a critical on that air cutter so I took him out of one hit saved us a little bit of time well, we're in good shape with that so yeah I went too hard I cannot see the future yet the world so you have to be determined okay just end with his you know, regular old babble. It ain't not to get too riled up about. So I'm just trying to position the DS a little better. It's kind of crooked. Right now, my friends aren't struggling to save all Pokemon. He just says stuff we shouldn't really care about too much. Uh, he says something about Zekrom and pretty much walks off, so. Uh, probably before we continue on, I'm probably gonna, uh, uh, get through here. Use a potion real quick on, um, Blitzel. Okay. Got that all taken care of. So let's, uh, head into the gym. It's a pretty, like, are we in the gym? Um, I'm a little confused. I thought this was supposed to be the gym. Uh, let me ask, they might know something. She's researching fossils. Well, we'll come see about that later. 
You can get to the Pokemon Gym by going to the back museum. Oh, okay. Thanks for the directions. Wow, when I look at the skeleton, I'm fascinated. This guy is apparently a uh, researcher type person. Because I'm Hawes, assistant director, since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. This skeleton is of a dragon type Pokemon. There's theory they had an accident when it was flying around the world and became a fossil. He's just going to talk about his fossils, I guess. This meteorite. Hell, that might be Deoxys. That's not good. Eh, ain't too interesting, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really been into fossils. I mean, they're cool, but eh. You know, not my thing, I guess. And this gym is a very strong, kind gym that is winning. By the way, the gym of Lenore happens to be made my wife. Alright. So let's, without further ado, head to the gym. Try to figure something to talk about. So, uh, I deactivated my, uh, Facebook account. And, yeah, this guy's just gonna give us, uh, fresh water. We can keep right all that. Um, so basically I deactivated my Facebook account because, I don't know, I've just been so aggravated with Facebook lately. I mean, they've suspended my account, like, twice in six months, uh, in six months, for just kind of stupid reasons. One time they said it was an accident, the accident deleted my account. One time they said I did something wrong, which I, they didn't say what I did. It, you know, Facebook's gotten kind of stupid. I mean, I, now I'm going to be probably full-time Twitter, you know, and YouTube, you know. So, I'm just kind of pissed at Facebook right now. I mean, they've just been too strict with their rules and stuff. And and I hate that stupid check-in feature that pe people use. It's kind of dumb, if you ask me. So, it, you know, it's just gotten stupid. I mean, they really hardly give you any personalization. Uh, you know. I mean, if you're going to make a website like that, they should at least let you give, give you some more personalization, you know, add some color to your profile or something. Kind of like YouTube does, but, you know, not that, you know. It, it kind of gets me aggravated sometimes. It, you know, they, they could do better. That's just what I have to say. You know, at least Twitter at least does you, let you have some sort of personalization. You know, YouTube by its fault, too. And... Hopefully that does better, you know. And I've always liked Twitter. I mean, I've been on there for like a year and a half, and I've really enjoyed it. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of things going on, and it's not as uh, as big of a cluster f as Facebook has become. Uh, even some guy tweeted on my timeline that um, uh, they're gonna forget you like they forgot MySpace because. MySpace become like the third wheel nowadays. The fourth wheel. It's about to fall off, you know. Who uses MySpace nowadays? So, eh, I guess enough of that ranting. But, um, I'll probably post my Twitter account in most of my videos, see if you guys want to check it out. Um, so, the puzzle in this gym, you gotta find these books which have memos in them, and they tell it. I guess you can call it kind of a scavenger search or something. I don't know. It's just a little puzzle. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And they just this book just says stuff. Uh, there is a memo between the pages. Pokemon trainers. I am the gym leader. I had four memos. Find them. Solve the questions and find me. What is the first book you met in this gym? The book is in the bookshelf in the middle row. So what we gotta do is uh. Go to this bookshelf right here, and yeah, it's Patrat. We bought a Patrat on the way here. So Patrat raised his tail. He's enemy. It, yeah, the Bee Doof on Cry. That's what the Patrat is. If you guys forgot, so that's all it does. Oh. Uh, flame burns inside his body. Gives off smoke with its head while it runs. It, so next thing we have to do, it's basically what it's doing is talk about a locomotive. So go up here and you talk to this girl. 
or this hot researcher. And she says, hmm, I see. Do you find the book? Can I come through the book? What does Mill say? Yes, and she battles us pretty much. This gym is just. You'll probably find some evolved form. Uh, the evolved form of uh, the dog here, and uh, be a tough. This one will be a pretty kind of a tough fight because she'll use like X defense and stuff, just to mess with the stats. It's kind of annoying, a little kind of annoying. And I have intimidate, which lowers her attack, so that's gonna help me out here. Hopefully, Rock Smash will use its defense, its defense cutting ability, and uh. Get rid of that. Ooh, critical hit and a defense drop, so that's two hearts, one stone, right? So, um, next thing you do is probably just use one more rock smash and I'll be done. This one. Yep, that was pretty easy. That's pretty much all you have to do. Alright, done with that. And, um, I'll probably switch my, uh, for burn fiction is about the reading, that's where we need to do a book. And all we have to do is check the bookshelf and read the thing with a locomotive and it'll give us our next memo. And yeah, locomotives are pretty cool, I think. You know, different vehicles, you know. I'm impressed you found this place. That's what I expect from a challenger like you. Blah, blah, blah. It's just, uh... If you heat enough pot, it'd be delicious. What is this? So what we have to do to find this is uh, first I'm gonna switch my uh, lead Pokemon on real quick. Okay. Uh, go down here, and I think it's this bookshelf if I'm not mistaken. And she sucks sweets for Pokemon, so read this, and it'll talk about Poffins, which you know you probably remember those from Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. That's the uh, I don't like their stuff that they use for contests. It's, uh, no, I never did contests. I think I did them for fun in Ruby and Sapphire one time, but uh, I didn't have that much fun with them. They're okay. Pretty much what they're telling us right here is to go see that girl that's to the bookshelf north of here, so what we need to do is go up here. Oops. Uh. Yes, yeah, so we just gotta fight this girl and we'll get to pass. I mean, none of the battles here are gonna be too challenging. I mean, you might have trouble with that dog that I fought a second ago, but not too much trouble. She's gonna send out three lily pups. This ain't gonna be too much trouble for her smug here. Um, uh, going back to what I was talking about earlier, I've also been um, watching Jersey Shore lately. I don't know how many. I know. Probably some of you watch it. I mean, I, I I just get the biggest kick out of it for some reason. Sorry, sorry, I'm moving around DS so much. We're trying to get it. That's good. Um, I don't know. I just have a lot of fun watching it for some reason because it's just the things that happen. You know, I mean, it does a good job of representing what's going on today in today's world. You know, maybe that's the thing I like about it. But it's just funny. I mean. The relationship between Ronnie and Sam, how they're like fighting one minute, and then the next minute they're sleeping with each other, having sex, you know, it's kind of crazy. Or at least Tornado Mist, that's annoying, but good this time. Uh, the character that I like on there probably the most would be either Vinny or Polly, because they seem like the most sane in the house. I mean, the situation is okay, but he's kind of an ass. Sometimes that's just me, I guess. I don't know whether you, some of you agree or some of you disagree. But, um, it's just get the biggest kick out of it, especially when they talk about the grenades and stuff. Uh, in the pool, that was kind of funny. You know, Snoopy kind of cracks me up sometimes, too. I mean, it's a cool show. But, um, yeah. But I don't know, I haven't been watching too much TV lately. I just get kind of bored of it. But I haven't watched it on Netflix, so. You know. Okay, we're done with this battle. It was pretty easy. Um, well, 
least she gives more money than the other people I've been fighting. Anyway. So we just have to read this book and then it'll reveal, talk about Tepig and its stuff and it'll re reveal a secret. Uh oh, no, hang on. It'll reveal a secret passage. If you catch that reference, you get bonus points because it's from Mike Mello, probably my favorite Let's Player. So. Yeah, wow, well, hit Syracuse. Before we go down there, I'm gonna probably use a super potion real quick on a uh, full smug there. And uh, I'm use one potion on oh Hurtier. Probably the first one we'll send out, probably with Harrier in the lead. That's alright. So this battle is gonna be kind of hard because she has well we'll see in a second yeah. welcome the direction of the Narcene Museum and the Narcene's gym leader is me Lenora well then challenger I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokemon you look so lovingly raised so apparently the researcher's wife is Aunt Jemima sorry I'm not being you know mean or anything but it's just kind of funny it, she looks like the person you least expect to be a researcher. I don't know, it's... Weird, a little weird. I'm not being mean or anything, it's just, it's just a lot of me. <laughs> anyway, let's use Rock Smash on... Hurtier here, uh, her opponent's Hurtier, and she's gonna hit me with Leer, which... Uh, lowers my defense. It ain't. It ain't too much to worry about. Uh, let's use another rock smash. Sorry about my finger getting in the way. I'm probably just using my left finger. I don't know. I just. It's a bad habit. I'm sure, a lot of the other people do out there too. We're getting kind of lucky. He misses. Uh, rock smash, and we took the hurtier down. So we're in good shape. And Hurtier gets a level up. Level 19 already, good. I think he, uh, I think the, the, the pre-evolved form of Hurtier evolves at like, I think like level 17, 16, 17, something like that. I think it's 16. But he's a pretty solid Pokemon though. And she's gonna send out the evil evolution of the, uh, retarded Bidoof. So this guy is hard because he knows hypnosis, which could put you to sleep, and it's not gonna make anything fun. I'll be honest with you guys, it is not fun. But uh, I'm just keep hammering it with rock smash, and that should be all right. And, uh, he's gonna use retaliate, which I think it doubles in power if the Poke if the turn before he lost the Pokemon. It's kind of a, a harsh attack. So, um, I'm going to send in Rig and Rolla. Rog and Rolla, I'm sorry. I don't know why I called Rigan, but... Uh... Use Rock Smash. Poker face. Get my poker face. I don't know why I'm reciting Lady Gaga song, but I am. It's a little weird. She's Rock Smash. <laughs> Yay, we beat the gym leader. And we didn't get turned into a pancake. So we're good now. This went a lot better than the one I tried to record earlier. This was actually pretty easy. I don't know how this happened, but it just was. I think it's because the uh, that takedown missed. Anyway. And she gives us our uh, first badge. So, we got our second badge, only six to go. Good shape. And she's gonna let, it lets us use uh, our trade Pokemon up to, up to level 30 will obey us now. So, 
We're okay. And we get she uses that move she tried to use on us. We, uh, retaliate. So uh, that's probably all I'm gonna do for this episode. Um, dear, oh, hang on. And s apparently somebody stole something. Probably it's Peter stole something again. So uh, I'll see you guys next episode. Okay. All right. Later.